The Ministry of Gender has over the years made meaningful contribution to the livelihoods of the Namibians through income generating projects, of which the majority of beneficiaries are women. Government is very committed to make sure that you know communities are empowered uh, through these uh, community empowerment projects. Uh, mobilize the communities to come on board and uh, uh, show their willingness to, to also get out of the poverty. Richard Hangero, the owner of Hangero Tire Repair Investment, says the project uplifted his livelihood. Started at the ground. Yachar urged the communities to approach her offices for more insight and guidance on projects. The programs of government must be known to the people so that they don't sit back and think there is nothing being done to them. Government remains committed, honestly, to empower women as well as men. Regarding projects which are failing to thrive or reach a sustainable stage, amongst other due to COVID-19 effects, the deputy minister had this to say. Yeah, in terms of financial support, I cannot say that we have any plans for now to support those projects that are already existing. Mm -hmm. But as uh, you heard that, uh, you know, we just monitor the process, help them also even to find the market uh, for their products, you know, uh, advertise through our own means, you know, we have to share the cake. Mm -hmm. So you have been given this equipment mm -hmm. and we are happy that you are doing well. Mm -hmm. So we must also now give others also, uh, you know, part of the cake so that they also start their own businesses. The ministry further pledged to give training on bookkeeping, business management, as well as to find markets for their products. Child trafficking, gender-based violence, abuse of harmful substance, sexual reproductive health and family planning are the key topics that the group is concentrating on during the training of volunteers to be able to convey the message effectively. Bernadette Yacher applauded the youth for the initiative and said the topical issue of gender-based violence and fight to root it out is a collective responsibility. She advised the youth to create platforms with various audiences to tackle the issue of gender-based violence from different angles.